Hi guys, it's another week and we are back to discuss all the trends and trust me, this week there's a whole lot to talk about. VGMA 21 happened over the weekend and we have all the details that you may have missed on the night right here on Trending GH. Now before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to get to be the first to get all of our amazing content and also our show is proudly sponsored by tap tap send the most reliable and convenient way to send money from europe to ghana and of course edit's pizza hat your branch is open and kicking 10 minutes and your delivery will be at your doorstep so yes grab a bite this weekend and enjoy with your friends we'll be right back welcome guys welcome 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 today's episode is about to be lit because it was it a lit is. weekend and it we is. are here to talk about all the litness everything that <laughs> trended fire 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 and the looks that went through fire no, too. No, you look amazing you look amazing you look so amazing your ears oh are god. amazing oh my god you oh your amazing. hair amazing <laughs> And that is what the show is going to be today. Amazing. Amazing. I know, right, guys? So, before we begin the show, we promised you some, you know, giveaway to mm -hmm. Eddie's Pizza, our brand new sponsor. And, of course, you guys, we've picked some winners. Uh, over the, f We started the questions in the last two yes. weeks. And then the first winner uh, is Spencer Okota. You answered the question correctly on YouTube. And the question was, which uh, was branch, the first branch of Eddie's Pizza to be opened? And you answered it correctly. It's East Legon. So, yeah, you, you've got, yeah, I want yourself one voucher to go to Eddie's Pizza, hash your branch. And that pick voucher up. is, you, you get two pizzas, right? You get one and another free. Right. Such a sweet deal, right? Yes. And our second winner is Real Logout on Facebook. So that question that, uh, which was... Which is the recent branch most recent branch to be open right and that is natural and, and you answered it correctly so real log out on facebook you've also won yourself a voucher to the hatcher branch of eddie's pizza so you guys can you know send us a dm get in contact with us and we'll show you how, how to get your vouchers yeah exactly and go chill over the weekend guys for pizza you could chill with you. exactly but now let's move on to serious business mm -hmm. vgma 21. <laughs> Let's start. I mean, it was a two-day event. Yes. Um, first of all, the buzz around it was not very strong. I think because of the of whole COVID. coronavirus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Each thing, uh, people were not really aware that it was happening. So their first day was kind of it was dull. A bit slow. It was slow. But then I think after the first day, people realized that oh, there's something happening. So and they I, were, I, I also they were think the performances forward. on the first day too were in something that a lot of people. Yeah, it went like the big stars, most of the big stars right. performed on the second day. Yeah. So that also... Exactly. But then, yeah, the first day kind of, you know, uh, built a stepping stone to people looking mm -hmm. forward to the second day. Mm -hmm. And of course, the second day did not disappoint. So let's talk about the first day. The first day, um, I think they did a lot of the not so popular awards yeah, yeah, on yeah. that day. So the Lifetime Achievement Award, people are not always really, you know, concerned about those ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then Song, uh, Song of the Year was awarded to Kinata on the 9th um, as well. And then uh, Bogatanga, I think, was Record of the Year. Mm -hmm. uh, Ochami Kwame yes. won that on the 9th as well. Emoji Beats, mm -hmm. you know, one producer of the, the year. Of the ninth, too. Yeah, which, which was great. But some performances of the first ninth, the f performance that got people talking was Eno Baroni's performance. Yes. Hands down, the best performance yes. of the first yes. ninth. I mean, I really feel like lately, she's had eyes on her and she has not disappointed one bit yep so i think a lot of people were looking forward to that performance mm -hmm. considering the fact that she's been on and on about how she's the best she's the best and yeah. she actually proved beyond doubt yeah. that she was the best i uh -huh. love that performance but then the person who won female vocalist of the year i was in um a, it was celestine donko celestine donko she did deserve it though she had this big gospel tune that was quite popular and her vocals on that was good too. That's, she performed on the night, didn't she? That's all. It's vocalist of the year, not shuffle of the year. What do you expect her to do, babes? <laughs> Vocal, so vocals on one song wins you vocalist of the no, year. I mean, you know when they 
nominate, they have a particular song, song that your vocal right, power right. was good on. So I think, yeah, she deserved it, even though she... I mean, there were other people there, personally. I really feel like Adina has been overlooked for that category exactly. for years. It's about time she won. Even Sina. Sina Soul has had an amazing Exactly. Year, but though. then again, it, she wasn't less deserving even of the award. Even if Pia had too. She wasn't less deserving of the award. She had it. Um... It was okay. It was okay. But then, let's move on. Oh, the red Even carpet the looks on the of the red carpet. Uh, uh, exactly. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I, that red just a fear war. It was, it was, it was okay. I think she was going with the whole I red looked, VGMA thing. But it looked red. a bit weird with, I don't know how, it looked weird. She, she, she looked But amazing. it was a beautiful dress. I think it just didn't work too much for me. But yeah, let's move on to day two. Day two, day two is Ehon, the big deal. Ehon and Semli. Nina Egu. <laughs> yeah, pack your girl. Yes. First, let's start with the red carpet. Red carpet looks. I think Adina killed it. All the photos from her performance and everything. Oh, and she was divine. She's a queen. Oh, she looked amazing. She did. I mean, her performance. And I think this year, there was something with uh, not gowns with trains. I don't know if you realize. Like, there were a lot of trains yes, in the red knee carpet. Length, knee length dresses, then there goes the train. Yeah. And I think Adina did that. Afia did it on the first day. Mm -hmm. Regina did, did that, that too. Uh, Bella, Bella on the second look did yeah. that too. But then I think another look that I loved was Sina So. Oh, that regal jumper. Like, it, it was, was beautiful. Oh. Simple. It was beautiful. It was on she point from amazing. hair to makeup. She looked amazing. Let's talk about the host of the day. Bella, Bella Mundi. Mundi. I think the look um, I really like is the, the black the, dress. The first look. The first yeah. look. It was, you know, very beautiful. It was beautiful. But then, I didn't like the makeup with the second white dress. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think she kept the same makeup. The same makeup. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't, I was expecting something different. I didn't like the makeup with it. I, I don't know whether it's the photos. I think the makeup because itself, she looked, it had a very... And the editing and everything. I don't know. Yeah. It just, it, it looked... It, it, it looked for off you. for Let's me. Look at the men, Kitty. Kitty, that she was an amazing, yeah, you know, look. Good. I loved it. But the performance outfit and, yes, and, the, and, the, and Kim Promise. Kim oh, Promise. my baby never goes wrong, y'all. Y'all, y'all know he did, never did goes Kwame wrong. Did Kwame Eugen go wrong for you on that red carpet? Ah, Kwame Eugen always goes wrong everywhere. But the red carpet looks. He <laughs> you tried it. He <laughs> it was okay. A lot of people have been coming for Kwame Eugen, especially with the shoes. You people, he didn't buy for ten Ghana CD. <laughs> You're in there. Stop <laughs> assuming. He bought everything at a low price. But yeah. yes, uh, Bolare too. Bolare looked dashing. Yes, and um, um, James Gardner, amazing. Amazing, you look amazing. You look amazing. <laughs> he looked amazing. Let's talk about Regina's look, by the way. Regina? What, uh, it was a bit off for me. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but, fun is, uh... but anyway, enough of the red carpet. They, they came to stay. They did what they, they came, could. Yeah. So let's go to the performances. The performances. I loved Kitty's performance. It was tight. Mm -hmm. She and Adina, they killed it. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, Kofi Kanata? Oh, amazing. I, yeah, the, I, live, yeah. the live performance the was live really, performance really, really was good. The live performance was really good. Um, Kelvin... Kelvin Boy performed the night before. Yeah, His yeah. performance was great what as well. What about Kim Promise? People Kim Promise. Uh, it was pretty much just simple. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Kim Promise is always simple. He doesn't uh, do... Uh, well, I don't know. But EL, the without book... opening. Can we talk about EL? Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I really feel like lately, people have thought EL is a bit down. Yeah. But he proved beyond that yeah. here again that he is EL. That he opening is. was sick. So sick. It so sick. sick. I it loved sick. it. But then let's talk about the awards, mm, mm, the mm. main awards. There were some, what do you call it? Surprises. We were school cool for Dance or Artist of the Year. Mm. I mean, was it because Stoneboy and Chatawale were not there? We understand. But still. But still. But still. Let's get a wrap of the year to Kwesi Ata. people are saying he didn't deserve it. Exactly. I feel like he did. No. That, that EP, to me, is still one of the biggest EPs of 2019. Okay, I think it was the EP was good, but I yeah. think um, time to the VGM. You know, after the EP, after went, the EP, so went people silent. felt like exactly. other people did more uh -huh. to keep after. up with yeah. the best rapper of the year. I think, yeah, I think so. so. Yeah, with that because maybe with Sakodia, people... yeah, even though he released a Black Love album, he still had so many singles. Yes, and that so way. many buzz around oh my it. God, yeah. So people thought that other people, even people exactly. said, you know. Could have uh, won. won. Yeah, Which because she was making a, a she lot had, of she's noise. She's had an amazing year yeah. too. So yeah, Dana I mean, Hamilton for gospel artist of the totally year. Totally deserving. Totally deserving. There's no two ways. We can't even, you know, argue that. Argue. <laughs> 
Kiddy One album of the year. Guys, are you people serious? Uh, that Sugar Trash album. I said it. I'm not I'm not even gonna Somebody Sugar is album, not holding trash back album. today from yes, having you to I can I have Kiddy. This is not the first time I have said it. Sugar was trash. He sat down, did it to his homework, and came I, back. You know you have with, to pay me so that Randolph doesn't beat you after this. Randolph sure, cannot right? beat me. He now he knows what I'm saying. He has he has agreed with me on several occasions. Um, that I think the, Sugar. The blue the blue EP is way better. Way better than Sugar. I think Sugar was rushed. I don't know why they were no, in a rush. But then again, I think even musically, it might have been trash. Pay what you're saying. Yeah. But I think it had noise, it had buzz. Around this, well, the whole movie did. and everything. So maybe that's why they gave it to him. Yeah. But other people were equally deserving of that. But for me, yeah, for new artists of the year, totally, totally deserving. deserving. Totally, totally I mean, deserving. Yeah. Kwame okay, Eugene for artists of the year. Yeah. We are not going to go there yet we are, because <laughs> that is a whole, you know, story on its own. Today on our first segment, we have Hot Picks. Ooh, ooh. And listen, guys. Jocelyn Dumas. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, girl. Hotness, hotness, hotness. There's just something. 40 and kicking it. What is the new cool baby? I know, right? She like, looked amazing. And even apart from the birthday photos, the birthday, birthday party, party photos, the oh, look. Everybody went and they loved it. I know, up. right? They did. It was like, you know, a whole event. I mean, it's like, I feel like it was event, it was event. You I, know, this whole comic, I know, other right? celebrities, are, like, they've had like birthday bashes yeah, and parties. But this, was, but this was like top notch. Private party at its best. And who, and who, the list of people who H, did the production did and did it. From <laughs> photography to assistant to, photography. To every, to, to first outfit <laughs> to second outfit. Guys, <laughs> we cannot talk about it. Oh, she looked but, amazing. Uh, she looked amazing. <laughs> That's the word of the exactly. week. Exactly. <laughs> the man there was amazing. Everybody who went looked amazing. So yeah, this is amazing hot picks of the week. <laughs> we'll be right back to this amazing, amazing show. show. <laughs> Hey guys, you're welcome back. We're still doing the amazing trending GH yep. and an amazing weekend with amazing viewers. Ooh. That is you. <laughs> exactly. And so before I even continue, I'm still recommending tap, tap, send so they can send the money that you want to your loved ones here. And if to your amazing here, loved ones. Exactly. <laughs> Let your amazing loved ones in Europe know about the amazing tap, tap, send <laughs> so they can send some amazing money so they can get amazing pizza. From Eddie's Pizza Ghana <laughs> at your brunch. And that is our amazing ad. <laughs> <laughs> Killed him. Anyway, we are moving on to a story that I've been, you know, pushing it. Yeah. It's like I've not had the patience to wait. Mm -hmm. Kwame Eugene winning artist of the year that just ended VGMAs. Ooh, that was, you know, I wasn't expecting a it. A lot of people weren't. I wasn't. Like, I thought, like, Sakode had it hands down because... He's had the best year. He's had the best year yeah. as compared to them. Mm -hmm. His album, Top Notch. The... Kwame Eugene has had a, a good year, but his album... Mm, and even aside the album, album, like, I think on any other platform or any other criteria, Kwame Eugene doesn't beat Akodia to it. At all. From bus to present to sing, to hit to even the album and even time getting close to the VJ. To, to the VJ. Sakodia yeah. had, what, the biggest virtual concert we've had. We've in. had. So, I mean, I feel like he deserved it. But then again... Uh, when he won, I was a surprise to everybody, but mm -hmm. I really just didn't like the twist that people thought he didn't deserve it at, at all. all. He did. He did deserve it, but exactly. we feel like other people deserved, deserved it more. more. You get it. Exactly. But then there were, you know, people had a lot of things to talk about, to talk about the whole uh, album situation. Yeah, um, most prominent of them was Guru. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guru actually went on Twitter and said, you know what? Uh, he really hopes Sakodi had won it, but yeah. then he doesn't think that, you know, um, Kwame Eugene, Eugene deserved it. And then Kwame Eugene gave a very diplomatic response to it when he was invited to an interview at mm -hmm. Hits FM. He was like, you know what, this is Ghana, we all have opinions. If Sakodi had won it, Kwame Eugene fans would have said, you know, um, Sakodi did not deserve it. If Kwame Eugene had won it, Sakodi fans would still say the yeah. same. Which other person was in that category? Um, but I think regardless, the point he said like so it stands that, that whichever he, fandom would think their part, their person is exactly. More. So he thinks Guru had his opinion and he has shared it. So that's it. Well, uh, the thing is, I think a lot of Ghanaians, especially the fans, should not think that when a celebrity thinks your person is the least deserving of that word, it means hate. Like a lot of the people that oh Guru is hating, hating on, on, on no, it's not that. It's just he had an opinion and he yeah. shared it. 
He's just like us. He's he's seeing what is going on. Yes, yes. And he Aside knows being celebrities, they also yeah, have personal opinions about, about them. Not everybody yeah. is their friend. Yeah. So when they feel like they, they, somebody doesn't deserve it, they, they should say it. But I really feel like now is the time for Kwame Eugene to you know, to prove those the doubters who are saying that he didn't deserve it at all. Now is the time for him to prove them wrong. The album that is about to come out, the first single is already making a lot of noise. Yes. We hope that. The other songs on that album, at least five of them come and mix I, I as think much, thing so about much Kami noise Eugene that... Is you might not like the song, but it but will it blow will up. Blow. That's the exactly. issue. Exactly. And I, I think even aside from that, you should ask yourself, were you people even vote? Did you even vote for your favorite? And VGMA has released the graph, the mm -hmm. voting graph and everything, and Kwame Eugene was leading. Exactly. I feel Kami like most of leading. the other uh, fat, like celebrities, the fans thought, oh, it's cool when everybody yeah. thought Sakura will win, so why would we like, vote? But I'm then there's another, you know, controversy that has started after uh, VGMA released the graphing to show, you know, mm -hmm. how the voting and everything went down. Somebody, a Twitter user came out and said that he voted for um, medical. But then after he voted, the response that came was, thank you for voting for Kwame Eugene. So it has sparked a controversy online that maybe the system was rigged or, you know, there was something fishy or happening. Or it couldn't be just a glitch. It was... How can it, you know, maybe, so that means the whole award show is... May, well, you have a point. Because or it could have I'm, been a glitch I'm sure he's not the first person. He actually took so a other screenshot. People, so did other people also complain of the same thing? He's maybe a, it was a one-time glitch, or maybe, as you're saying, it uh, caused the whole credibility of the award to watch, question. Yeah, but I think uh, Amiel Debra has also come out to give, you know, some suggestions mm -hmm. to the VGMA board. And the particular one that he said that I, I, I totally like. agree with is the fact that he said they should make it a one-time, like one vote per person kind of thing. Yeah. It makes it more, if not, people, the m person with the most money is More always going win. to win because they have the most money. I mean, that's going why most uh, artists do not celebrate awards what? as just giving them the credit for what they've done. Yeah, they, just some the of them most, pay for it, yes, they buy it. Or, exactly my point. But yeah. regardless, VGM after every year brings its own controversies, bring who deserved what, who didn't. But it's over. Kudos to and congratulations to everybody who won. Mm -hmm. Well done. Prove us right or wrong. Or wrong. Whichever uh, thing people are saying. But congratulations to the winners. And thank you for sticking with Amiot TV. Oh, Let's yeah. move on to our next segment. Which is Shade of the Week. And this this week's Shade of the Week, we have them in two, <laughs> two, two different areas. I'm going to do the first one, which is my favorite. So, yeah, our boy, VJ Scaro, caught... Um, Kelvin Boy on the VGMA Day mm -hmm. 2 red carpet and he interviewed him about, you know, the performance. We're yeah. talking about the performance and everything. You know, the first day he had, he, had, he had some glitch with his trousers and everything. So he was talking about that and he was talking about the, you know, live band and he was, you know, he said, the Makele says the fear to say, I know why your live band and I change you where you think say, you know, you, how you know your killer, they know, no, he know. You know the matter. You die your you killer. Know he said they fear him. And now, <laughs> down go AMG down go tea. I was fit. I say any would ne. When him say matches a daka. Just say. Why you? All your pam pam pam. You didn't even win one award. Like how do you people like in somebody to face that shout out to a matches a daka? Matches a daka is square. Kelvin boy's face is not square. If people are rude. So rude. If people are rude. And our next shade is another epitome of rudeness. <laughs> and this time it's personal to me. It's like I stand Emilia Bro. Brobians. <laughs> like forget that we share the same name, but I'm a bro. I'm part of the Emily gang. <laughs> Brobian. Hardcore. And so when my queen made me happy to announce that she's bringing a new album, I was very happy. So Emilia um, Brobo took to Twitter and said, fans, which Ghanaian musician should I feature on my upcoming album? So mm. all the people that you can see is just family call any now that you know there's a whole album coming. Yeah. I was excited, mm -hmm. but some people weren't. And mm -hmm. one of those was Jude at John J for Life on Twitter. <laughs> he said, Let's deal with one pandemic at a time, please. <laughs> How can you like it? Some My Emilia queen's music to a whole damn pandemic. pandemic. Hey, you people are rude, and I take offense. <laughs> shade, guys. This shade. Shade, shade, and This shade, is an amazing shade. 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 <laughs> guys, you'll be amazing me back. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi guys, welcome back. It's still trending GH, and we hope you know you're commenting and telling us your thoughts on and all you're the stories. Having an amazing time, just like <laughs> we are. All the stories we've done so far. Now, um, before we move on to our next story, I mean, Deborah Media has some great news. The National Communications Awards nominations are out. <laughs> and guess who made the and list? And I mean, our Debra Media is winning. Y'all know we ain't here are to winning. play. So, I mean, Debra has been nominated as the online personality of the year and also www.amiadebra.com has also been nominated for, you know, blog and oh, blogger yes, of the year. year. And yours truly. Ma Mazi has been <laughs> nominated too. Give them. Woo! Yes, I got my first ever nomination, guys. I'm so excited for we online are, TV hosting. And we are bugging it. Yes, we are. She deserves it. Oh. Online TV host and is coming home yes. to us. We are picking all the three fact, awards. We are picking all the three awards. Like <laughs> we are bringing your favorite trio. You know what we say favorite trio? Right, we are bringing so a trio of an award. I exactly. exactly. <laughs> home and say your congratulations, baby. You know, I'm forever proud of you. Thank you, baby. Thank you guys thank you, so thank you, much baby. for supporting us. Keep on supporting us and you know. Right. So voting starts. Voting, you know, the voting uh, thing will be open on 10th September. So when it gets to, you know, 10th September, we'll remind you guys to start voting. So do follow us on all the platforms. We're going to keep you updated on the voting scheme and everything. Yep, yep, so you yep. So keep on voting for us. Show us the support you always do. We love you. And yeah, thank you for loving us right back. That's so right. yeah, um, our next story is still on VGMA Wahala. Mm -hmm. Medical and Eno. So Medical won. What did he even win? Hip Hop okay. Artist yeah, of, of the Year. Medical won Hip Hop Artist of the Year. And he decided to throw it in people's faces. So, you know, at the VGMA event, they had this key holder. The, they made a, uh, a miniature place, yeah. a key holder of the place. And then they were giving it out to the attendees. And then he posted it and said, on behalf of VGMA, I present this award to Eno. The disrespect. Totally like, uncalled for. Uncalled for. Why would you even do that in the first place? And let's still say it on record. He has he had not had the balls till then and still hasn't had the balls to respond to any of Eno's this, this by bars, like I seen rap bars. All he's done is throw subtle shade and sometimes misogynistic about how he didn't yeah. think a woman can, can be that be good. good. Which world are you living in? Then he does that and then people come after him and he comes back and, and write yo, all jokes aside. And not really the rap. At a point, I thought she had a ghost writer. Woman with the rap like that. What do you mean? What the hell do you even mean? That's is rap for just men. Who who wrote it somewhere that rap is for men? What about Nicki Minaj? I was about to say that. What about Cardi B? What about Missy Elliott? What about... And the fact that you said that to say you only think when a woman or a female rapper is good... The person is using a ghost, ghost writer. writer. Bro... What makes you think we don't think you also use a ghost uh, writer as well? You think, well, because you're a man. You I are, don't even know. <laughs> you have indicated all, of all ghost writing accusations. Right. Anyway, Guys, that story is that just was, a bore. It's just a bore. But it's anyway, uh, Enno has released the track after VGMA. Game of Thrones. Or and say bars after bars. Is Charlie. Listen. Eno, forget them. Forget them. We, your fans, we know. We crown you. We know your worth. We know what you can do. And, and you soon are the, the world best will wake up. rapper in exactly. Ghana. Exactly. Soon the, the world will wake up to your talent they and will. how great you so are. So forget and them these, these shady boys. These shady boys are. Right. <laughs> I'm even annoying. <laughs> Guys, we are moving <laughs> on to our next segment, which is What the F? Oh, my God. And can you time. see my eyes rolling? Oh. Why is it rolling? I'm rolling my eyes to the what the F. Because you're Kumerican, so you're brave. Okay, guys. <laughs> I didn't hear that term. I'm move on with my life. <laughs> like, I didn't hear what she just said. <laughs> but listen, at this moment, Kumerican. when you feel like your engine down there is, you know, showing a few problems, make your way to Benin's church. Because... To hell with any herbal drug, to hell with any aphrodisiac. All the poison will be in his hands. He shall inject the poison into your manhood. And he will do it by holding your crotch, <sighs> massaging it. Uh, okay, stop waking up. It, looks, it sounds so weird. And it's cringy. It is. The whole, nice. whole anyway, what, what the F? F? I mean, I'll, I feel like our face should, should, should give it up. What the F? Watch the video and tell us. 
what the F is of him doing. We'll be back. So it was just like. Hi guys, welcome back. It's still trending GH. Don't forget, tap tap send is the most reliable way to send money from Europe to Ghana. All you have to do is download the app and don't forget to use code AMEYALD yeah, on your five. first transaction for five euros mm -hmm. or pounds oh. off. Yes, our next story. Somebody has been putting his nose into places that is not of his concern. <laughs> so Sunny Badu. <laughs> Our very own Dr. Sonny Badu. Mm -hmm. I think it all started with Stoneboy. Yeah. When Stoneboy's issue with Sakura. But this not even the first time. He likes to do that. He, he likes like, to do that. Comes from like a very godfather ish position to sort of like advise industry players on. Like all things. the damn time. Like nobody has asked for your opinion. And you... So yeah, Stoneboy's issue. You came out. It was between Sakura there and Stoneboy. But you came out and picked a side and said, Stoneboy. Why, why? So is Sakodia not your son? Is Sakodia not deserving of... Maybe it of... was because uh, Stonebo was in the bad light. So Stonebo is the one who needed that light. But still, you should advise both of them. We don't know what was behind the scenes. Maybe you should Sakodia advise, got a you call. Sh you should advise both of... No, if Sa so Sa somebody deserves a call and another no, person you know, deserves social media... Is, you know, when you do wrong and I do right, the wrong... Uh, it's like Godfather mm. or Professor will turn it the right way. But anyway, we you don't should know have, what You should have spoken about... Make a balance. I don't, I don't think he even saw it that way. You sh that's the issue. So if you don't see it, if you are not balanced, don't come and just pick a side and start. No, in this case, a am to talk about this and Be patient. And not that. Maybe I can say maybe, maybe I don't <laughs> take it to heart. Nah. Stoneboy was wrong. So maybe you guys should, if there's any beef that is going on, nah, maybe you guys should like find a mutual way of settling it or something. I feel like we all have ways of uh, handling issues. Maybe he, from his own thoughts, thought like, oh, maybe Stoma is in the wrong, so maybe we just correct him and then the relationship will move so, on. So, and now, uh, Kwame one Artist of the Year. And also, so I'm sorry I could post it, my son. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> just a rude person. You <laughs> to my son. Just say, he picks, he handpicks his son's shooting everybody. And now, failure. Abroso, Abroso, radio presenter, we say Abroso. Yeah. Since you came into the limelight in Ghana, made all your hit songs, you haven't pushed any single gospel artist. All these big, big, uh, they were, I'm sure they were under G gospel artists who were working with you. We said there were some who were working under you, helping you, and all those things. You never helped any of them to also achieve, you know, certain status of, you know, come up with songs and everything. You never did any of that. And then they be out of wow. Now I go obi and then I go ham pick it. Oh, you before. My maybe, son. maybe he might have helped people, but it wasn't publicly. Maybe he might have helped the songwriting. No, maybe every he help he has helped, he has made it public. When, uh, uh, when uh, uh, the man who died, what's the name of the man who died? When he was offering help to him, he made it public. That is different. I'm that is really, not different. Listen, How is listen, that different? In this that case, is, where that is you're like my protege, or no. you're like you're under me. If I'm, I'm going to help you write a song, I'm not going to tweet it the next day. Oh, I just helped my boy write a song. But or if, if, you, I, if I'm going to call you, a sound engineer, it and is say, not you who is say it. Oh. But if you help someone, even if you don't say, it, the person will oh, keep oh, thanking maybe you. The person, uh, the maybe person the person thanking thanks you. the person in private. My whole point is we do not know as to how far he's helped other people. Let's not make our conversation. The Thank long and short that. of it all is that so Nibadu, stop, picking, stop picking sons. <laughs> Everybody, we are all deserving of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you to go and look for your spiritual If partner. you are praying for us, pray for all of us. Pray for the whole Ghana. Sonny, listen, everybody can be your favorite. You can be a mother, father of all. Are you serious? God does not have favorites. He, is he God? Is he God? He is rep He is standing <laughs> oh, in the anaimo of Pastors God. Pastors are not God. Listen, Sonny, do what feels good to you. And yeah, advice you want to advise, and don't let that get into your head. Sonny Badu, <laughs> mind your business. Everybody should mind their business. Sonny, if your business, your son's business is your business. Anyway, <laughs> you guys didn't see that. <laughs> we are moving on to our last segment. <laughs> oh my God, which is our moment of the week? And this time we have like, you know, Hollywood does this a lot. This, uh, Hollywood celebrities take their kids, mm -hmm. the red carpets, and we see a father to son or mother to daughter. Did we know did there we was a son? I think before the VJMA red carpet, he had posted, uh, oh, I think, okay. media okay. about 
of, of both of them, sorry. Oh, okay. So yes, this week's all has Kofi Mole with, uh, I think he gave the name to VJ, I might have forgot him. Kweku, Kweku something. Kweku something, something. Anyway, yes. <laughs> Kofi with his son, twinning on the VGMA wet carpet, so all cute. swagged out, yeah. looking dapper. And he did say something. He said, Ghana is not ready for the boy. I boy. mean, the boy is still very much young. I don't even think you figured Allow his this boy out. to enjoy his infanthood. <laughs> exactly. I like to enjoy his childhood. Like, Ghana is not ready. Ghana is not ready for the boy. Ghana should watch out. He has a long way to go. <laughs> Hey guys, you're welcome back. It's still trending GH, soon to be done with. I mean, good things how they come to an end. So I know, quick. right? Not even realizing, but of course, we kept some serious news for the last bit. And guys, coronavirus. So it looks like coronavirus is still here, but the effect and presence is slowly, slowly fading away. So yeah. we are easing off restrictions in the country. So yes, yeah, certain universities have been allowed to go back to school. And the latest that has happened is airports have been opened mm -hmm. for... Uh, hey, and, when are the airports going to be open? They've opened go. Open go. We are all looking at you. <laughs> go and let us see. But yes, the airports have been opened, even though the borders are still closed. But yeah. there are certain uh, we say, things you have to do before you have to... Before you, if you're coming from outside, you must have um, a recent test. Three days. You yes. have three days. You have a test there. Within three days, you bring the results. Exactly. And, and when you get, you get to here too, you're going to have to take a mandatory test, which the price... $150 uh, yes, for a test. Exactly. And that's according to the government of Ghana. But then, Noguchi came out and said that that test does not, you know, it's not the price for the test. Yes. In simple terms, it's $10. Exactly. Hey, what's up, my people? Welcome to Training Tools Rock here on Training GH. My name is VJ Scarrow. This week, I got some dope songs to share with you. Let's go straight at number five with In Come On by my man from Pong featuring the man Kweku Darlington. I love the conversation with the rap on this. These Americans decided to team up on this one. It's a dope song, guys, and I'm not gonna lie at all. In Come On by from Pong featuring the man Kweku. Darlington at number five. At number four for this week, we got Like to Drip. You know, Like to Drip is by Kev and Grenade. This is a dope, dope hip hop tune straight from Ghana. At number four, uh, Like to Drip, Kev and Grenade. Guys, make sure you check out this tune. It's a dope thing for the man them's having a good time, for the ladies having a good time. This is the perfect song that you love to jam to. At number three, I got my man, Equamina MP, with Change Your Style. This comes with a dope video as well. It's already making waves in GH and beyond. It's a dope song. You're going to love it. It's a number three, Change Your Style by Kwamina MP. And let's go to number two with Say Cheese We Miss by Kitty featuring American singer and songwriter of the man, Teddy Riley. This is a dope song. You know, the original song itself, it's the ladies' anthem, and uh, Kitty decided to team up with uh, the man, Teddy Riley, on this joint, and it's already a bang. It's already a worldwide Hit. So if you've not checked it out, it's the time for you to check it out right now. Say Cheese Remix, Kitty featuring Teddy Riley at number two. At number one, we got two top female artists in GH, Eno Barani and Wendy Shea, and they decided to call this one Enough is Enough. It's a banger. I decided to put this song at number one because I know definitely it fits perfectly at number one for this week. It's a tune that uh, everybody can jam to. You can jam to anywhere. You know, you got all the content that you love. So enough is enough. Ain't no barony featuring Wendy Shea at number one for this week. And that's it for Trendy GH this week. Don't forget to make a date with me same time next week for the best update in music. And that's how we end today's show. We've had an amazing time. Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah. Don't forget to follow us everywhere on social media at Amiya TV and on YouTube. It's Amiya TV official. And of course, www.amiyadebra.com every For single all second. your amazing news in every amazing sector. <laughs> we'll catch you same, same time, time next, next week. week. Stay amazing, people. <laughs> <laughs>